Your Paris family is gathering in the living room. Your sister is playing the piano. Your brother is grabbing his guitar from his bedroom. And your mom is tapping her foot along to the song. Now all they need is a singer. Your singing skill is maxed out. Would you choose to sing along to the song? Or would you rather listen to the music instead? Happy Wednesday! Hopefully everyone is staying healthy, happy, and hydrated. If this is content you enjoy, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for weekly Paralives dev chats. Thank you! If you want to see more of me, don't forget to check out my Catchy Virus Instagram account for memes. I have my own personal Instagram account if you want to see what I'm up to. And I have a Catchy Virus Facebook page. I'll have all of my social media accounts linked in the description box. If you've missed a dev chat, you can catch up by clicking the pop-up at the top of the screen right now, or you can find my dev chat playlist link in the description box below. Stay tuned for another video this week about what I've come to realize about Paralives and other life simulation games due to last week's dev chat video. If you want to join a Facebook group and talk to other fans, then you should check out my favorite Facebook group of all time, Paralives Community. They're the fastest growing Facebook page and there are some amazing people in it. I'm leaving the link for them in the description box as well. Just as a huge reminder, I am not confirming anything in this video. These chats are brainstorming sessions. The game is so early in development that features and elements are subject to change, improve, or they might be removed completely. Since this is all about brainstorming ideas, and I wasn't present during the actual live dev chat that happens weekly, I can sometimes misunderstand the answer or question, so I just want to apologize in advance for any miscommunication. If I find out something I've said is wrong, I will add a pinned comment, I will change the video description, and most likely write a community post about it. Ever wonder how your paras will get around town? Well, you're not alone. It seems like we're going to be getting several different types of vehicles that are most likely priced differently. They might be able to even cause different moodlets to your paras and might even need repairs. Like Christine said, there's tons of gameplay options to explore when it comes to vehicles and personally, I can't wait to see them. In addition to vehicles, it'd be very cool to have other forms of transportation like motorbikes, bikes, skateboards, scooters, rollerblades, snowmobiles, and ATVs. Although none of this is confirmed, it would be a great addition to the game. What forms of transportation would you like to see in Paralives? Will my para grow with age? It doesn't seem like there's going to be a lot of elements that grow or change over time or shrink like their height because having the hair, nails, and body hair grow over time would be a little bit too much work for such a small detail. Either way, you'll be able to change up the hair length by going into Pam. Does that mean Para's hair won't change to gray, silver, or white as they age? Actually, it seems like it might be a possibility. I personally would love it if the hair color changed over time instead of immediately after aging up. This does make me wonder how much of the Para's appearance will change over time versus all of a sudden on their birthday. I'm not a fan of huge changes to my characters once they age up. It takes you out of the gaming zone because of the abrupt change in how they look. And most of the time, let's be honest, you have to like immediately edit how they look after they age. I would love to see some aging over time. Of course, I'd be fine if some aspects still happened on their birthday, but I would love to see progressive aging. When I got my nose pierced, I went to a piercer. When I got my tattoo, I went to a tattoo parlor. When I get my hair cut, I go to a hair salon. Will my pair folk be able to experience those types of appointments as well? Wouldn't it be cool if we could send our paras to one of those places and do a little makeover while they're there? For a few paradigms, your pair folk could have a new tattoo, haircut, or piercing. Maybe it could be a random change. Maybe the player decides beforehand. Or maybe we have both of those options. Either way, it would be cool. This is a location that could work so well as a rabbit hole. I really enjoy this suggestion and I hope we do actually see something like this implemented in game. Back in December, we saw a new and improved Maggie. Although I personally like the original design for her, I also enjoy the new art direction. Does this mean this is how the game is going to look when it's launched? I mean, probably not. 
And like I say at the beginning of all of these videos, we need to be mindful that Paralives is still in early development. That means things can change and will change throughout development. The art direction is an element that can change. Even since then, Charlie, the 3D model, has been modified to look less cartoony, especially in the eye area. In addition, the team is striving for realistic proportions for objects. They're trying to figure out a standard dimension for creating objects so it's easier for players to recreate their homes, offices, or other buildings that they want to recreate. Wouldn't it be cute if Paris just automatically did stuff together? Like what? That'd be too cool! Like pair folk coming together to use their skill sets to create moments of entertainment, like joining in with other musically inclined Paris to play a song, or joining in on a dance battle. Maybe even joining in on a funny joke or a little like skit that's happening. Maybe a frisbee lands near you and you can join in playing with that. Maybe your para family is doing something and the game actually gives you the option if you want to join them or not. The idea of allowing players to choose to join in on other para's activities seems like a very neat one indeed. I like how your choice could affect your para. Maybe that means they don't build relationships because they choose not to join in. Or they joined in and now they're building their skills through that activity. Another simple way of allowing pairs to interact with each other in a casual way would be allowing them to choose to do things together. For example, walking together to the local plaza and then meeting up again to walk back. It'd be cool to have meeting points set up or having those simple interactions with other paras scattered throughout the game. Another way to interact with other paras could be in the form of a competition, such as swimming, running, dog shows, art, crosswords, spelling bees, game shows, and many, many other events. Jeremy believes that skill-based competition could be a generic and easy enough system to implement in the game, and it could be very interesting. It's not something the team has thought about before, but it could be a cool one. It certainly gives your paras more to do with their hobbies. And it gives you a reason to build skill for your paras. Wall thickness. It's not something I've really thought about before, but it is something other players have. This is because their walls are mad thick, and other games don't include a way to increase wall thickness. Having thicker walls could also mean having different window sizes that could utilize that wall thickness. It would also allow those players to properly recreate their homes or other various locations, as well as create depth and interest within the build. Hopefully, Paralives includes this detail. Paralives has a split level system which will allow for various different floor heights. In addition, you'll be able to delete floors and ceilings and create different size spaces with various heights. It sounds like the platform type system would work out really well in this game. Lastly, will paras pay bills and taxes? It seems like it will be included. Electricity bills are confirmed as well as eco-friendly solutions to reduce them. I like how this will be included within the base game. The eco-friendly solutions, I mean. Alrighty, there we have it. This week's Paralives dev chat. What type of interactions do you want to see within Paralives? I like the idea of being able to choose to micromanage their day to day, as well as having picnics. I'm all for picnics. Thank you for watching and I hope you continue being awesome. I can't wait to talk to you in my next video. Bye!